Hello fellow humans, today I'm gonna show you how to flash the QMK firmware onto the Arduino Pro Micro with 668 configuration setting. I haven't shown this in the original 668 keyboard build series and it was quite a requested for me to show this, so here we are. And don't worry, this video won't have any loud music or b-roll intros. As you can see, we are on Linux, more specifically Linux Mint 20.2. This is fresh installation, so I will show you all the dependencies that you need to install in order to, for QMK to work. And if you don't use Linux, don't worry, you can easily install it on USB and then boot your computer from USB to use Linux temporarily. So this way you can follow my tutorial as well. And I will link in the description some tutorial how you can create bootable USB. So we can start. I will open the terminal. Firstly, we need to install sudo apt install. Yes, so we need to install git and python python uh, python package installer. Okay, it will it will take quite a while to install. Uh, by the way, make sure you are connected to the internet. Great, so the installation is finished. Now we will use the Python 3, the, the Python package installer for installing the For installing the QMK. By the way, the keyboard that you can hear is the Levinson with Gateron MX, the Gateron Blue switches. Okay, this is installed. Now there is one. Now there is one issue. The system doesn't know what the QMK is. If we if you type in QMK, it, it, it doesn't recognize it. And in order for system to recognize the QMK command, we, we need to modify the path variable. And we will do that path equals the old path. This is the folder where where pip is installing the the programs. So and this is the folder also where the QMK is located. Okay, now the system knows what the QMK command is, but before launching the QMK, I need to install several dependencies. So sudo sudo apt install yes, and the dependencies are ever AVR dude, the DFU programmer, DFU util. Oh, by the way, this the all these commands are in the, in the description where you can just copy paste them into the into your system. Then we need GCC GCC AVR GCC arm arm non AB and we also need AVR lips lip lip lips <laughs> so these are these are five dependencies that we need and we will wait for them to install Now I can finally launch the QMK setup. QMK setup. So this wants to download or clone the repository of the QMK. So, so I will say yes to that. And once again, this will take a while. Great, and now we can continue further. At this point, you can actually flash the Arduino. And we'll do that by 
by uh, connecting the Arduino. So connect the Arduino Pro Micro with the via the USB with the USB cable, and now you can type in QMK flash. The flash command will take care of the whole process. And now you need to specify the keyboard with the dash uh, keyboard and the 668 is uh, and the 668 is under hand wired 668 and now you need to specify the key map with dash key km and the key map is default and this is all now I can hit enter So uh, default, I missed the T. Right, so now it's compiling the firmware. And after it's compiled, waiting for the USB serial port. Uh, now we need to, so we already have the Arduino connected. And now we I take the tweezers and I will I will short the res reset and ground pin. So this will put the Arduino into bootloader mode and the PC will be able to flash the firmware. And the firmware is flashed, so now the keyboard should be working. You can try it out and it should be working. <laughs> also I'm gonna show you how to modify the layout of the keys or just make some small modification to it if you want to uh, replace some keys and you're gonna do that with the command qmk new key key map now you'll, you will specify the keyboard uh, and that was hand hand wired 668 right i can hit enter it will ask for the name the name of the new key keycap key map will be my new key map and what this will do it will copy the default key map and create the file with the same configuration and then you can and then you can uh, modify the file So I will go to the, I will open the file explorer. I will hit the home. There is the, there is folder with QMK firmware. I can go to keyboards, hand wired, hand, hand wired, 668, key maps. And now we can see default and my new key map. So I will open my new key map. Uh, you have two files here, readme and keymap.c. You can open the keymap.c with, uh, with your favorite text editor. Don't open it with LibreOffice, open it with basic text editor. And here you can, here you can modify the keymaps. I won't go into detail what these, what these symbols means but you can easily figure, figure that out. In this case, I let's say, for example, I want to switch the key Q and A. So here we have the, the constant QCQ. I'll put this here, QCKA. And instead of QCA, I will put QCQ. Q. <laughs> uh, right, and I will save it. I will save it. And now I can go, once again, I can flash the firmware with QMK, flash, keyboard, hand wired, hand wired, 668, keymap, oh, I have a mistake here, keyboard, so keymap, uh, my new keymap. And now it's flashing the the new key map.
Okay, now it's flashing. <laughs> and this is all. I hope you were able to follow this tutorial and understand it. You can write me a feedback in the comments. So that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.